Hello, this is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. Today, Henry, the HVAC man, is going to clean a blower, a blower motor, and the blower controls, and explain the importance of keeping these units clean. The entire blower system is removed from the HVAC shell. It is recommended doing the cleaning on the exterior where you can use a hose. These units are very dirty, and you do not want the additional dust contaminating your home. This is the motor to the, to the furnace. And what do you, how are you going to clean it? I have to clean it with nitrogen or compressed air. Really? Yeah. Now, what does nitrogen do? Well, nitrogen, I just use nitrogen because you get high pressure, 1,500 pounds of pressure. So when I blow it out, it, it blows out whatever's in it. The biggest problem to equipment is heat. What causes the heat is dust. Okay, that motor, what's going to make that motor fail is the dust that's in it and around it because it can't dissipate its heat. That's the soap, right? Yeah, it's like a chemical, coil chemical. It cleans coils on air conditioners and it takes this kind of stuff right off. The cleaning solution is sprayed into every nook and cranny. The blower fins are also sprayed with the cleaning solution. This cleaning solution breaks down the dirt, dust, and grease. This is the same solution that you would also use to clean your HVAC evaporator coil. I've never seen a furnace guy hose down a squirrel's cage ever in my life. This is what's supposed to be done. Huh? This is what's supposed to be done. People still call them squirrel cages? Yeah. What do you call it? Squirrel cage. Wheel. Every square inch of this system should be cleaned. Be very careful not to get the motor and system board wet during the hosing. After everything is dry, the blower and controls are reinstalled back into the furnace compartment. It is very important to perform a combustion analysis on all furnaces when repairs, cleaning, and parts replacements are done. Okay, we'll make sure the hot service igniter closed. So we're doing a combustion analysis now? Yep, we are. So right now we have, obviously we have no combustion because it's reading just gotta wait for it to do its thing. There we go, there's the hot service igniter. Gas is on, so we might get a second or two of no flame. There she goes. Ooh, okay. that's... And I'll see what she does. There we go. Let's see what but it sounds better. Yeah. Sounds real good. Yeah, it sounds real clean. And she's still dropping. Yeah, she's still dropping. And we want to get the oxygen below nine, right? Yeah, six. anywhere between six and nine. Uh, CO between nine and 99. Yep. Anywhere okay. in there. Okay. And uh, temperature between, exhaust temperature between 325 minimum. Okay, it's got to get to 325 after five minutes of runtime. And 450, you don't want to go any higher than 450, maybe 425. Okay, so you're right about where you're going to stay. You stabilized at 9.8%. 33 parts per million and you are at 328 so you are where you need to be so we're good